It's been over a decade since Usain Bolt broke the world record for the fastest time to complete the 200-meter sprint. He's held on to that record this entire time, but one young man seems to have the potential to change things. Arian Knighton is just 18 years old and only graduated high school this year, yet he's already breaking world records. We'll be covering Knighton's recent success and future in today's video. Bill Airborne, Rodney Knighton, Tom Bula, Camel, Florian. First up, standing among giants. When you think of the 200 meter sprint or even the 100, you're likely to think of Usain Bolt. Bolt's considered to be one of the most recognizable runners in history and for good reason. Back in 2019, Bolt participated in the Berlin World Championships. There, he would set an unprecedented world record time in the 200 meters, 19.19 seconds, which has endured for more than a decade. His time puts him ahead of the two other fastest runners in track and field history, Johan Blake and Michael Johnson. Blake, a fellow Jamaican, was Bolt's contemporary, often pushing the world record holder to exceed expectations when running together. Before Bolt hit the scene, Blake was considered to be the one to watch. And two years after Bolt set his long-standing record, Blake participated in the Brussels Diamond League's 200, setting a time of 19.26, making him the second fastest man in history. Before either of those two could make their mark, four-time Olympic medalist Michael Johnson led the pack, setting a new world record back in 1996 of 19.32 seconds. All of these fleet-footed Olympic champions put their name on this prestigious list while they were in their 20s, but one young man seems geared to do so before he's out of his teens. That man is America's Arian Knighton. Having set a time of 19.49 seconds this year, he's close behind Michael Johnson. Next, who is Arian Knighton? In the world of track and field, it's not surprising to see young blood changing the way things are, but Knighton is different. When he was 17, he was already considered the one to end the Usain Bolt era. Last year, he participated in the Tokyo Olympics, but didn't make much noise there, finishing fourth in the 200. But less than a year after that, the people that touted him as the Bolt killer were proven right. In April of Baton Rouge, Knighton amazed spectators with a stunning time of 19.49, essentially marking him as the fourth fastest 200 meter sprinter in history. But where did this young up and coming star come from? Knighton began his journey in athletics unknowingly. At 14 years old, his primary focus was on gridiron football, starting as a wide receiver for his high school team. When the young American was interviewed by the BBC in early 2022, he told them that if anyone had asked him what the 100 meters were, he wouldn't have known how to answer. Back then, he knew nothing about track and field. With Knighton's 1.9 meter height and wide build, he could have thrived in football. Football. But when he was 15, his coach timed him running 200 meters and instantly knew his future was in sprinting. The coach advised him to take up track and field full time, and that kickstarted his journey to becoming the powerhouse he is today. Now for the rise of Knighton. So, Knighton began his journey into track when he was 15. It didn't take long for him to adjust to the new sport because just a year later, he qualified and participated in the USA Track and Field Junior Olympics. Running the 200 meters, he clocked in at 20.33 seconds. The second fastest time for the length to be run by an under 18 year old right behind the legendary Usain Bolt. Another year later at 17 years old, he qualified for the American Olympic team being sent to Tokyo. This marked the first time in 57 years that an American of his age managed to do so. As we already know, he didn't secure a spot on the podium, but he did however go further than he had the year before, breaking Bolt's under 18 world record more than once. Then in 2022, when Knighton participated in the LSU Invitational event in April, he went on to set a time of 19.49 seconds as the new under 20 world record. Not only was that a new world record, but it was also a time that beat Bolt's previous best while being 18 years old, and Knighton was younger than Bolt at the time. If Knighton had clocked his time back in Tokyo, he would have comfortably taken his spot at the top of the podium at the end of the event. We haven't even talked about his run in the world championships this year in Eugene, Oregon. Clocking in at 19.8 seconds at that event, he became the youngest ever individual sprint medalist in world championship history. Coming up, can Knighton break Bolt's record? Knighton just graduated from high school a few months ago and is now considered to be the fourth fastest man alive. That's a ridiculously amazing accomplishment that nothing can diminish, but we do need to get into the details to see how well he actually stacks up against the likes of Usain Bolt and Johan Blake. If you look at the actual best times that the 200 meters have been completed in, you'll see that Knighton's fastest run is actually at number 8. That's because Bolt has run the 200 meters more times than Knighton and has set four times that are better than the youngster's current best. Then you have 
Blake that has two times which have beat Knighton's eighth place run. Whether the young American can take down Bolt is probably best discussed in the context of the Jamaican star's history. Bolt's current world record of 19.819 was set back in 2009 when he was 22 years old. At the moment, Knighton is 18, so he has four years up on the legend. The only other time Bolt set an unbeaten world record was 19.3 back in the Beijing Olympics when he was 21. That's just 1.9 seconds that Knighton needs to shave off to significantly move up the ladder. When Bolt was 17, his best time was 19.93. That's about a tenth of a second slower than what he clocked in at that age. For Bolt to beat that time, it took him two more years of growth and experience. Let's talk more about Knighton's potential. Apart from being better than Bolt at his current age, Knighton has more going for him. What's really captured the attention of track and field fans is the fact that Knighton's abilities have been increasing at an insane pace. Between last year and now, he's reduced his best time in the 200 meters by 0.35 seconds. As we've already mentioned before, Bolt had to reach his 20s before he set a time that beat Knighton's current best. When he did beat Knighton, he was 21 and was competing in the Beijing Olympics. That was when he set his current world record. Consider that the next Olympic Games in Paris will be held in two years, and by then Knighton will still only be 20 years old. By the time he's in what many consider to be the peak performance years of his life, he'll have the opportunity to participate in the next Olympic Games at 24. That fact isn't lost on Knighton at all, who says that he thinks about it almost every day. Given the rate at which he's progressing, it seems more than likely that the young American will be taking down Bolt's record before he comes close to the age at which the Jamaican set it. Lastly, Knighton compared to his peers. There's a lot of buzz around Knighton and whether he can overthrow Bolt, but he isn't sprinting in a vacuum. There are a lot of newcomers to the sport that are competing alongside the 18-year-old prospect and they might just blaze past him to secure the world record for themselves. Take Noah Lyles, for instance. Lyles is a fellow American and teammate to Knighton who's probably the closest match to him considering his speed and age. Though he is 24, he might still have some potential waiting to be unlocked. Lyles was part of the American team that went to the Olympics last year and he managed to surpass Knighton to take the bronze medal home for their country. He also won gold at the World Championships back in 2019. That year also happened to be when he set his own personal best of 19.5 seconds. At the time, it made him the fourth fastest 200 meter sprinter in history. But as we know now, Knighton beat that time by a single hundredth of a second this year. That doesn't mean that the competition between them is over though, and Lyles could very well shave off a bit more from his personal best and overtake Knighton. Then you have Canadian Andre de Grasse, whose current personal best of 19.6 has him hot on the heels of Knighton, and as a six-time Olympic medalist, Degrasse could certainly give Knighton a run for his money. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think Knighton will be able to break Bolt's record before he turns 20? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, and we will see you in the next one.